After my parents divorced, that was kind of a life changer for me. You kind of come to realize that you're not in your perfect little bubble anymore. Pictures are a way to look at the past and preserve the past. I'm a photojournalist at Loyalist College. I'm in my second year at the school, which is also my final in graduating year. Photography has always been something that I've been interested in when I was a kid. It's just neat, you know what I mean? You can take a picture and it's not just a picture, it's a memory. I got my first camera for my 10th birthday. My dad bought it for me. It was just a small little silver camera and it was like the only thing I wanted and I loved it and I carried it around in my purse with me all the time. Well, I've always liked stories and I've always enjoyed telling stories. Since I was always interested in photography as well, the kind of the joint, the beautiful union of photography and storytelling, what I found out was photojournalism. I was like, that's what I'm supposed to be in. That's the program I'm supposed to be in. That's what I'm supposed to do. Well, what's actually kind of neat about the photojournalism program here is it's very, very, very hands-on. It's almost like being in a slow pace newsroom. We get assignments and then we have to go out there and we have to get the stories. We also do a lot of writing. What's kind of cool about our program as well is that we are considered a triple threat. So we learn video, we learn writing, and we learn still photography, which in um, the journalism world is all three factors that a good journalist needs. The college has helped me tremendously. I came into the college loving photography, loving cameras, but not really knowing a lot about it personally. I just kind of shot on auto and was like, oh, look, this is a great photo. All of my teachers are inspiring in their own way. Scott's really good for writing, and Frank's really good. He helps me out a lot, but Patty is someone that I really, really look up to because Patty is an introvert, and she's always said she's an introvert on the furthest scale, and I'm also an introvert on the furthest scale, and I have some pretty bad social anxiety as well, which doesn't help. She can still do it, and she can still get up there, and she always is very encouraging, and she always tells me that, yeah, you're not always going to... There's not going to be a day where you're going to just run up to a person and be like completely comfortable, but it's going to get better and you're going to get better to deal with it. And she's just kind of my role model. It's very, very difficult to be a photojournalist with social anxiety because on top of not being able to talk to people properly initially, it's just, it's kind of a nightmare. <laughs> when I kind of stress out, I'm like, I get choked up, and I'm like, I probably, there's been a couple of times where I'll walk around the block a couple of times and be like, okay, you can do this, okay, 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 you can do this, just think about it, you can do it, you can do it, and I talk myself in, and I kind of like, I kind of just jump off the cliff. The more I've talked to people, the better I feel. I mean, I still get really worked up and really choked up talking to people, but it gets better. Like, even just in the beginning of the semester, I couldn't talk to anyone, and now I'm just, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty okay. I had just turned 15 when my parents were divorced. My birthday's on September 12th, and they told me September 19th that they were separating, which was not great, you know, a couple days after your birthday. I mean, it wasn't my birthday, but you know, you're still kind of happy, and then they're like, oh, by the way, we're getting a divorce, and you're like, oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I would look at the pictures of my family's old scrapbook, and you'd see my parents together, and it's kind of a way, like, I wouldn't, I actually went through a, a memory block after my parents divorced. I couldn't remember them together. Like I, I mentally blocked it out of my head because it was too upsetting to think about them together. So it was easier just to think of them always being separated. And when you look at the photos, it's like, wait a minute, they were actually happy at one point and they were actually together. And I mean, I'm glad they're divorced now, but I don't know, it's just kind of a way to hold on to that. And it's a way to hold on to your past. I actually think I'd be happier now, to be honest, now that my parents are divorced. My dad and I are really, really, really close now. I actually owe a lot to him. I live with him full time and he's just fantastic. He was the one who gave me the camera and he's just very, very supportive. He's always been supportive. He's always tried to find a way to make things work for me. He went with me to Henry's to buy my first camera and with all my camera gear. He's just kind of helped me out the whole time and it's just, always encouraging. If I ever need help, he just, he's always there for me. He 
is the most amazing dad in the whole wide world.